Hi there, this is just going to be a quick demonstration of how to fit my new Shapeways FPV custom under tray. This is designed for the Fat Sharp Predator V2 kit. Uh, as you can see, this is the 250 milliwatt um, transmitter that actually comes with the kit. Basically, um, that just slots in there. If if you've seen any of my other stuff, basically this is exactly the same as my original FPV under tray for the Phantom 1, but this is specifically designed for the 2. Uh, obviously, the biggest problem with the 2 is you've got to get both fingers in to be able to get the battery out. This gives you that little bit of space. Other than that, the design fundamentally is exactly the same. Uh, you can see all the videos uh, and all the pictures of the uh, other versions of this on my Shapeway shop. Um, so by all means have a browse of that. But anyway, I'm just going to quickly show you how this goes on. Uh, now this is specifically designed with this shape and cutout in mind. So it will actually fit a Phantom 2 using either the Phantom 1, the original Zenmus 1 bracket, or the Phantom 2 bracket. And likewise it should fit around quite a lot of different gimbals as well. There's a decent amount of space. Um, and to mount that, all we're going to need is you're going to need to order some of these. Now, these are just hex brass spacers. You've got an M3 thread there and an M3 thread there and it's 25 millimeters high. Um, you can choose to have it a little bit higher. You can get nylon ones, but nylon ones have got nylon threads, and nylon threads can get stripped very easily. Uh, this will give you a much more positive feel. Um, so that's what you want to do. We use them, and that allows us to use the original screws from the Phantom, and that's literally all you need, and a screwdriver, basically. So what we do, flip our Phantom over, and then this is the last one. I've actually fitted all of these. And turn it around so you can see it. So you put these into the innermost leg hole and just give it a nice tighten. So you can see I've already got them here. Then we get our under tray. I would advise you just get the uh, get the TX into the holder. Uh, you'll see there's plenty of space for your cables at the back there. Um, what I would then say, if you do have the power filter which I have here. This is the power filter. Uh, this is my power filter holder for the Fat Shark Predator V2. That's available also on my shop. Uh, what I tend to do with this is fit it before I actually put the under tray on. And I just use a bit of Velcro, lash it in around the TX, pinter it down, and then we just strap that on. That's perfectly secure and it doesn't get in the way of the heat sink, which is what we want. Okay, so all you've got to do then is basically just slide this in and you just slide it around the rubber dampeners and then lower it on. And you'll see it seats nicely. You should have all the holes now available. And it's just a simple case of that's our existing screw that we took out of this leg hole. And we simply, it says, attach these through each of the holes. And I will fast forward doing that. Okay, and that's it all fitted. So as you can see, it fits in with a nice gap around the Zenmus bracket. This is the original Zenmus bracket, but the 
new one will fit in there. The dimensions have all been measured out, so uh, so that will fit in that recess there. Um, and that's basically about it. All you've then got to do, I've got an auxiliary cable power coming out of the hole in the side of the Phantom. That just goes to the filter, like so, he says. There we go. And then it's just a case of you've got your normal power cable. It goes in there and then you can use some of the cable tidy holes if you want to around here to just neaten things up. Within, without. Up to you how you go about doing that. Snaps in there. And then obviously for those using the Zenmoose we have a custom made cable here which is coming from the upgrade board and that just plugs into the TX there like so, so that's your basic setup that leaves you with plenty of space to play with um, I've also had things like the IOSD Mini mounted on this little place here if you're clever about how you route the cables there's plenty of space here um, and obviously with the Phantom 2 and the nice big battery that should give you plenty of flight time keeps your TX away from the uh, the major electrical components working around in here and that's basically how it's all done